Hello, and thanks for purchasing the LDG Electronics Z11 Pro 2 100 Watt Automatic Antenna Tuner. In this part of the Z11 Pro 2 video series, we'll show you how to use some of the Z11 Pro 2's advanced features. When it is in fully automatic tuning mode, the Z11 Pro 2 will begin tuning any time the SWR is higher than a preset threshold. To set this threshold, press the function button followed by the L down slash threshold button. Five different values of SWR are available to use and are indicated on the LEDs as follows. 1.5 to 1, 1.7, 2.0 to 1, 2.5 to 1, or 3.0 to 1. Repeatedly pressing function threshold will cycle through the five possible choices. The Z11 Pro 2 will not begin a tuning cycle until the SWR exceeds the value you've selected. While most of the time you'll want to use the Z11 Pro 2 in fully automatic mode, there are occasions where you may want the tuner to only begin tuning when you specifically ask it to. For this, engage semi-automatic tuning mode by pressing function and C down auto. The outer two LEDs will light to indicate semi-automatic mode. Press function and auto again to toggle between full auto and semi-auto and back again. Now that the Z11 Pro 2 is in semi-automatic mode, Tuning will not begin unless you want it to, regardless of the SWR detected. Pressing the tune button for one second while transmitting a carrier begins a memory tuning sequence where the Z11 Pro 2 attempts to retune from memorized settings for the given frequency. To force the Z11 Pro 2 to perform a full tuning sequence from scratch, press and hold the tune button for 3 seconds while transmitting a carrier. Sometimes you may wish to manually tweak the inductance and capacitance settings on the Z11 Pro 2. To do this, simply push the C up, C down, L up, or L down buttons to increment and decrement capacitance and inductance. Holding the buttons will increment rapidly. The LEDs will blink when the upper or lower limit is reached. To manually select whether the Z11 Pro 2 is attempting to match a high or low impedance load, press function and L up high-low Z to toggle between the high or low impedance settings. To store your manual settings in a memory associated with the last frequency you transmitted on, press function tune store. This concludes part 3 of the Z11 Pro 2 video series. Be sure to read your owner's manual to get the most out of your Z11 Pro 2.